Tom here, man. Um, uh, your host for Carve the Convo. And today I am uh, joined here by the great Cafe Palace coffee master himself, one and only Joshua Hernandez. And uh, you might think it's Filipino because his last name is Hernandez, but he's the he's the real deal, the legit. Uh, what do you call that Mexican mm. Latino heat right here? <laughs> and uh, you know, you know, one secret about um, how Latinos make themselves sexy. Oh wow, bro! We don't stand sideways. Oh, never stand <laughs> sideways and always. <laughs> Say everything with fire, like, uh, hola. Hola. I am Como Julio. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're, uh, forgive the lights, we are uh, in a, we're off-site, we're outside the studio, and we're shooting in a place called Think Up. You're going to see some B-rolls right here. Um, this is a newly opened coffee shop over here at J.P. Laurel. And um, the reason why Josh is here, because he just actually, can you give me the beats? Where's the beans? There. Just brought us the beans. From, uh, from where? Where's the beans from, man? Uh, produced in Polomolok, near Jensen. So it's uh, homegrown here. He uh, said that really seriously. Oh, like, homegrown, yeah, he, no. like he meant business. Oh, yeah. He meant business with that. Yeah, nothing but business, right? Yeah, there. dude. Like, yeah. So, so, okay, cool. Um, Carve the Convo is about anything under the digital space right anything mm -hmm. anything that deals with the digital space right now because it's like it's where everything's going industry business education name it that's where it's at mm -hmm. now the reason we engage primarily is because you wanted to bring your business online bro right first of all tell us what the business is what what is it about how you got started in it and like why did you decide to bring it online all right uh, basically, what we do is we uh, we sell coffee beans, coffee uh, products, um, ground and whole bean, of course. Uh, everything is um, it's farm fresh uh, here in the Philippines. We export it, and that's partly why we wanted to bring it online, so we can uh, tap into that export market, really get it moving, um, you know, to the U.S. and to everywhere outside of the Philippines because right now the uh, the domestic market is doing okay um, but we just want to really tap into the other markets and get that balos out there. The balos is uh, the civet coffee so um, the civet coffee is uh, it's, it's uh, consumed more uh, in the international market so. Well um, I think there's there's two reasons why that is. One it's a bit exotic and, and mm -hmm. like Western yeah, yeah. Hemisphere like stuff Ex like that. Exotic stuff, yeah. Exotic stuff like iguanas or like <clears throat> deep fried jellyfish. Or yeah. No, I'm just I'm messing. Yeah, yeah. I'm messing. With, <laughs> with ketchup. With ketchup. <laughs> with ketchup <laughs> and mustard. Don't forget. Oh, gotta have the Don't mustard. For, you gotta yeah. have it. You gotta yeah. have it. Okay, going back now. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think it's, it's because it's exotic. And secondly, I think price wise, um, here it's 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 affordable premium, whereas over there it's really just affordable. Well, it's still it's still kind of a step up, mm -hmm. your regular coffee, but in terms of, uh, you know, cost perspective. Mm -hmm. right. Um, right. But but um, you know, like civet civet coffee. Um, how, how is it? Is it you know from the cost perspective? Is it affordable? Is it good? Um, absolutely, yeah. I mean, we've we've get uh, we get a lot of customers and buyers and consumers that will come from us. Right now, we're getting some because of the website and because of the uh, the work that the car has been doing here to help us out with uh, you know with everything. Nice plug, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, no, but because of that, we've actually got a lot of food and beverage people from the U.S. and from uh, UAE and stuff that are in resorts and hotels and places, and they're interested now in ordering it um, well, so. well I guess you're more accessible now too exactly yep so it's really cool let me let me give me give me the back here so 
Sorry for turning it back on the camera. I sincerely yeah, apologize. I'm trying. I'm trying to get this thing. Um, here. Well, here's how how it looks like. Um, that's a bad shot. That's a bad shot. But anyway, um, Cafe Balos project right here. Um, tell us about the brand, bro. What's what's the deal? Uh, the story behind the brand, Cafe Balos. Cafe Balos is. Um, well, the, the name Balos in the Balaan uh, dialect translates into civet, or um, also known as, I think, uh, Merot or Milo. Milo, Milo. Yeah. 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 Um, and so we use the Balos. The cafe is like cafe, right? Cafe, so civet coffee. Um, what's cool about this, though, is it's not just civet coffee. What we do with this is we work one on one with the community. Um, so we're going in there, we're helping them to uh, create sustainability, you know, they, they make uh, fair trade off of the coffee. Um, they, uh, we're teaching them also how to farm and cultivate other crops and different, um, uh, you know, different, different sources of income. So when the, when the season is dry, when there's off season, they have uh, other means of, of income that they can produce like for example they're doing carrots uh, they've got bell peppers they've got a lot of different fruits vegetables that they're growing there on the mountain um, and so the story behind it is more on on the community and also um, providing a, a high quality coffee that's what I love about it because as I drink it I get to reflect mm -hmm. on the lives of the people that yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but like what I'm saying is there's a story behind the coffee yeah. and that's they, that, that just brings <clears throat> meaning to just the brand and, and buying the, 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 the coffee mm -hmm. and actually enjoying it because like you know that you know nobody was cheated in the process mm -hmm. everything was well made everything was looked mm -hmm. after it's a very thoughtful um, process and these guys work hard bro I mean they're, they're out there uh, the farmers they'll wake up around 5 in the morning and they'll go through the forest. They have their little trails and tracks that they take through the forest. And yeah. they'll, they'll just collect the, the beans, you know. Yeah. And uh, they'll do that. They'll take their little um, banana, banana leaf. Yeah. And they'll fill it up, usually like about half a kilo, each farmer, you know. And uh, so, you know, they're up there for, it's, it's hard walking through those trails. Dude, it's awesome, man. Have you walked up those trails? I have, yeah. yeah. Several times. You, wow, serious. Yeah. Once I got to the top, I just kind of rolled down. <laughs> oh, no, no. But you're, but you're in it. You're in it for, for serious. You wanted to be immersed in that yeah. whole thing. Yeah. That's really cool, man. Look, you're, you're a young business, and um, you've been here in the Philippines for how long now? Wow. Seven years? Seven years. He's a young business and a young businessman. And he, uh, he rolled the dice with this thing. He's like, all right, yeah. I'm going to do this thing. And, um, and so what we're essentially saying is if you're thinking about putting up a business, he's not even, like, he's not even from here. And, and you know, it's, it's a big risk to do, certain, like, mm -hmm. to do a business. Mm -hmm. and, and you really went for it. And you've been here for seven years. So he's about to give us a, a, a tip. Like if you're thinking about starting a business, a uh, small business or... You know, you're, you're, you've been planning it, planning it, marinating it for quite some time. Um, Josh here is going to give you one tip and, and, and um, you know, kind of a motivational push. To just go for it. But, like, mm -hmm. before you do that, man, because you've been here for seven years, mm -hmm. what are the top three weirdest Visayan words that you now know? Wow, top three weirdest? Well, they don't have to be weird, but things that are random for you. Um... I don't know if random, but I'll tell you one that's kind of funny. When I first got here, uh, I didn't know what it meant. And we used to work with some kids. We were doing like some, uh, some work in a public school here in, I think it was Bohangin. And so we're doing some, you know, just some, uh, uh, some work there, volunteer work and stuff. And so one day, my wife used to always say, she'd like, Ambutsa Imo, right? Whenever I would say, Say you that know, again. Say that again, man. Ambutsa Imo. Ambutsa Imo. Ambutsa Imo, <laughs> yeah. You picked so, that up? <clears throat> Ambutsa Imo. Ambutsa Imo. So when I asked her, what does that mean? She says, I don't understand you. I don't understand what you're saying. So I'm like, oh, okay, you know, well. So I'd slow down my English or whatever, right? So one day, we're at this school, and 
I'm sitting down, she's doing her little thing, teaching the students, and I'm sitting down there in the side, you know, just observing. And some of the kids walk up to the, to the desk where I'm sitting at, and they start asking me a bunch of questions. And I didn't know what they said, so I said, Ambusa Imo. <laughs> oh, man, bro. The kid looked at me like, like, you and I, a mad I, knew, white guy. I knew right away, yeah, I said, oh, that wasn't the right thing to say. I'm a mad white guy, I'm would say. So, <laughs> later on, she said, no, you don't say that to the kids. Maybe for a global audience. You say, Walay Sapayan. <laughs> Walay so, Sapayan. Uh, um, Ambut Saimo stands for, uh, I don't understand what you're saying. That's exactly what it, and I can imagine it's only random conversation between a white guy trying to learn this. And yeah. you go, I, I say, Ambut Saimo, and you go, I don't understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And I go like, I'm saying, Ambut Saimo, and now you're saying, I don't understand what no, you're saying. Yeah. It means exactly the same thing. Yeah. Dude, can you, can you like, uh, can, are you fluent? Uh, no, 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 not fluent. I can, uh, I can kasabut, I can understand maybe 80%, 85%. All right, so, so. di mabalig yet. Hmm? Di mabalig yet. Oh, that's the 15% I don't get. <laughs> <laughs> no, so when people ask no. you, do you know the dialect, you say, you say kasabot dili mabaligya. You can't sell me. Ah, okay. You can't sell me because ah, I understand. Ah, you can't sell me. Yeah, dili mabaligya. 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 All right, you know, yeah, let's yeah, not yeah, let's, let's not do the yeah. All right. <coughs> uh, anyway, let's erase that one from the. <laughs> <laughs> for the people, for the people out there watching this, millions and millions of viewers, Joshua Hernandez, after your tip and after your uh, motivational pushment. Give us a little bit of a shameless plug if they want to reach out to you, they want to communicate with you. Right. Uh, where can they reach you at the end? All right? Cool. Cool. Uh, tip. Tip. All right. I would say go with something that you enjoy, something you love. Um, if you're going to start a business, if you're going to do something like that, go with something that, that you really want to do. Um, because if not, you might be able to do it, but it may not succeed or it may not, it may not go as far as you want it to go because you won't have the passion to put into it. I love coffee, and I love how I was taking coffee, you know, ideas and stuff from the States, and then trying to apply them here didn't work. So learn the market, learn the area, learn the people, um, you know, figure out your demographics, all of that. Um, and money follows. Like, and if you're doing follow. something you enjoy, yep. it should be the other way around. Like, don't, don't do something for money and hope that you enjoy it. Do something you right. enjoy yep. and then hope and pray that the money follows that. Yeah. And, if, and if it doesn't, try something else. Yeah, Keep not going. try something Keep else. Going. Don't Keep give up. up. Yeah. Yeah. That's the idea. That's the idea. All right, man. Thank yeah. you so much, Josh. Yeah. Give us a little bit of your shameless plug here, but like uh, right. <laughs> anything he says anyway for access points or contact information, we will be putting down here in the comment section, so don't worry about it. But here we go. Um, Café Balos Project. Uh, you can go to our website, uh, www.cafébalosproject.com. Um, you can email us at info at cafébalosproject.com. Um, or you can text me. Um, but I won't give that out, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Give so me your email uh, address. you have an email? Uh, uh, oh, you already gave it. The yeah. info, yeah, yeah. Right, so, cool. Um, yeah, you can you can email us and and of course the website's always up and uh, running. Thanks to Carve.